Welcome back to the second part of Scoreline this afternoon. My name is Robinson Okenye. I am in studio with Ronald Okoth and uh, Sam, uh, Salim Wazir. Of course, we'll be talking about uh, the English Premier League later on. But before we roll our sleeves to that, we want to take a look at uh, motocross. And uh, this morning, Rotuno Kwenike was at the Jamhuri grounds here in Nairobi to take a look at what is happening on the seventh leg of the National Motocross Championships. Robinson, today we are at Jamhuri Rest Track and this is the round seven of the National Motocross Championships and it is a good day. We've just witnessed some of the categories going down. That is the Wee class. We've also had the MX50, um, rather 65 class. Right now going on is the MX50 and this is just uh, the young... Uh, categories and this is one just one among the many rounds that we've had in the previous uh, times we had the round six we had round five and between uh, round six and round seven currently we had the motocross of africa uh, championships that took part in zambia between 18th and 19th august and joining me right now is ken lusa who's the chairman of Motocross, and he will let us in on what happened in Zambia because Kenya managed a sixth place in rather among six countries. So Ken, how are you today? I'm great, thank you. Tell us a little bit more about the event. Yeah, well, MX of Africa, uh, nations took place in Zambia, Kitwe, and uh, although Kenya was represented there, we didn't have a strong team, we only had five riders. Uh, and hence the position that we finally got. And um, although the, there were only five, they did a good showing. And, and uh, you know, we had uh, Rolf Kihara, who performed very well. We had uh, Decker. We also had our uh, lady red rider, who was recognized, Atete Benzinge, uh, for sportsmanship. So it was good. It was good falling. Why did we have such a few number of individuals taking part for the Kenyan team? I think there were a couple of issues in terms of uh, logistics. Also, we have had quite a number of our riders uh, facing exams this year and so the risk of you know possibly you know sort of uh, fracturing or you know breaking a wrist and you can't do exams put a kind of number of them off um, but um, again that didn't dampen our spirits we went out there we flew our flag high and uh, I think we got a good showing. Maybe who are the biggest contenders in that event? Well Big contenders are always, you know, the South Africans, uh, the, the Zambians, uh, Ugandans, our neighbors did very well. Uh, but I always keep telling you, motocross, especially when you're dealing with competitions of that nature, uh, you know, the tyranny of numbers comes in. And the more people you have, the more the points you score and ultimately the, the wins that you get. Thank you so much, Ken, for that uh, brief uh, detailed information. Now, uh, joining me right now is one of the top riders, and specifically in the MX2 category, we have Rolf Kihara, who is also representing, rather, one of the rep uh, those who represented Kenya in the Zambian tournament. Rolf, how are you today? I'm very good, thank you. How is the day for you? What are you expecting at the end of this day, considering you're participating too? Um, mainly to have fun, to enjoy myself, and to also give a good competition to all the other riders. Now, just behind you, you can see this is the MX85 class, which has just begun. Uh, what do you think will be the outcome of the race? Um, usually with the 85 class, it's very, it, you can't predict, it's very unpredictable. Um, it could be someone falling like someone already has. Um, bike problems and other people just passing each other so it's a very competitive class they have many riders there and it's pretty unpredictable to see who can win who will come out top and finally as the captain of the kenyan team how do you think you guys perform um generally for many of our riders it was their first time and uh i was very happy um with their performance i advise them because i've been in such races before so i have a lot of experience so I'm advising them on what to do, how to do it, and uh, also because it's a different track, it's a new environment for all the other new riders, um, all the other Kenyan riders, sorry, and to me, I think they did their best as well. They all, again, represented the country very well, and I'm happy for them. Thank you so much, Rolf, and good luck in the course of the day. Thank you. So, Robinson, that is just a snippet of what happened in Zambia for Team Kenya, who managed a sixth place finish. And you, as you have heard, this was not a bad performance. Rather, they tried, but they got quite a big competition from other African countries. And among them, we have Uganda, we had South Africa, we had Zambia, among others. Back to the studio.
Well, thanks a lot, Rotuno Kwenike, who was at uh, the Jaburi grounds here in Nairobi, where the seventh leg of uh, the National Motocross Championships is uh, taking place. Now, let's move on to some gaming where Philip Kimani overcame 150 competitors to claim the Jumia Gaming Tournament that took place in Nairobi. Kimani secured a 2 1 aggregate victory over Bonfest Minor to walk away with the prestigious trophy and 50,000 Kenya shillings for these type of programs in, uh, in Kenya. And as a result, we, uh, we, we're, we're, the, the hope is that, that we'll, we'll be able to make this uh, a more annual event that, that we can continue to support. And we look forward to uh, engaging with, with other partners as well as engaging with our, our current partners um, to, to continue to provide this forum for the youth to come together and showcase their, their talent as well as grow their talent um, in, in Kenya. So the, the winner of the tournament would go home with a 50,000 Kenyan shilling prize. And we've also been fortunate to have uh, our partners here, uh, Hisense as well as Dell, give uh, free giveaways to the winners of our raffle ticket, ticket pullout. And so those winners will get a Hisense TV, as well as uh, we'll get two, ge two Dell laptops um, for, as their rewards for, for winning the raffle. And as, as the, the event becomes a more regular um, event for both Jumia and, uh, and the gaming community, we, we, we anticipate that the, the prize money will be able to grow. I'm extremely happy to win this tournament. I've always longed to win one FIFA tournament since. I love it very much. And having faced one of the toughest players this round, um, I can say it's a feeling which I can't even explain. It was very tough. It was very tough. I, they reached a point I, all, I, all, I also thought I was going to lose, but I kept holding on. I kept holding on until I won. To some rugby now, Impala women's rugby team are the 2018 Impala rugby women's sevens tournament champions after defeating defending champions homeboys RFC 12-5. In a thrilling final played at the Impala Rugby Grounds in Nairobi on Saturday. Wamba Rugby women's team finished third, defeating Northern Suburbs 33-5. So many coffee houses in Nairobi yeah, now. So coffee shops. The game was intense, it was very difficult, but finally we managed to, to win. We needed to work on threes and the support play. So that's what made us win. And also in defense, when someone maybe missed the tackle, there was another person who had to come in and support the player. It's just small basic, basic things that we have been like losing the ball at contact positions. That's why we are, maybe right now, that's why we have lost our... Our finals, but anyway, we are thankful for Impala for giving us that uh, challenge. Uh, and next time, we'll be ready for them. Now, Dismas, Ewet, and uh, Paris Chirono are the winners of the 42 kilometer race at the fifth edition. Of the, Mombasa, of the Safarico Mombasa International Marathon held today in Mombasa County. A wet clock, two hours, 16 minutes and 42 seconds to beat Aaron, rather to beat Aaron. Kabidi kwamba niweze kuja kushiriki maana nilikuwa tayari niweze kushiriki Nairobi Marathon lakini kasema kwamba kwa vile naona mwili ni kama iko sawa wacha nijaribu nije nikimbie Mombasa Marathon na kwa kweli nimekuja nimefika Mombasa naona hakika Mungu amenionyesha kwamba nimekuwa mshindi ama nimekuwa bingwa katika mwaka huu Ndio sio haiko mbaya sana but ilikuwa choto sana eh, Bangashukuru Mungu amenisaidia sijai win race kwa Kenya 
hii ni mara yangu ya kwanza ku winres next year nitakuwa hapa to defend my title Let's move on to tennis now. Ibrahim Kibet Yego secured a win against Kenya's top seed and the 2017 Rwanda and Malawi Open Tournament champion Ismail Changawa to win his first Kenya Open Championship title. Changawa received a match win, a match winning rather after racket abuse and failed to clinch his fourth title, losing 7-5-6-4. In the ladies' tie, Kenya's number one female player, Shufa Changawa, exited the Kenya Open Championship after being edged out with a 6-1-7-6 loss to 14-year-old Kenyan count counterpart Angela Okutoi in the women's singles finals. It was not that bad, but it was good. Shufa, I think, never played her best tennis, but she tried to give all she can, and it was good. My opponent here, Angela Kute, she played really, really well, and it's good for her, and I'm happy for her. I was able to get a lot of time, because I was able to get a lot of time, and I was able to get a lot of time, but I was able to get a lot of time, and I was able to get a lot of time, and I was able to get a lot of time. I think today is not my day, and he played really well. He's a good player, so I mean, like, he's great.